Africa is an emerging continent with enormous economic potential, triggering analysts to predict a nominal GDP of $2.9 trillion. A remarkable economic surge is expected as a gross domestic product of $29 trillion is projected by year 2050 in the coming decades in Africa. According to Forbes' recent publication, there are 18 billionaires from Africa with a total net worth of $73.8 billion. Many independent reports projects that the number is expected to skyrocket in the coming decade. The pandemic caused the African economy to decline by 2.1% in 2020. However, African billionaires, like their compatriots around the world, saw their fortunes increase by more than 12%. These billionaires have geared their energies in industries with much prospect for Africa such as automobile manufacturing, oil production, real estate development, telecommunications, and luxury goods. According to Financial Expects, as the African economy recovers, the wealth of these billionaires will further increase. Our video today will explore how the 15 richest people in Africa built their multi-billion empire and which industries are making them filthy rich. Before we go any further, remember to like and subscribe to our channel for more exciting trending topics in Africa. So without further ado, here are the 15 richest Africans and the industries they're investing in. Number 15, Othman Benjelin Morocco, net worth, $1.3 billion. Othman Benjelin is the CEO of Moroccan Bank for External Trade that has operations in over 20 African countries and his main source of wealth. Othman's father owned a stake in RMA, a Moroccan insurance company, which Benjelin grew into a leading insurer of the country. Othman also owns stakes in the Moroccan arm of French telecom company Orange through his investment company Financecom. Financecom is also part of the multi-billion dollars tech city project in Tangiers, Morocco. Othman Benjelin also holds the position of Honorary Trustee in Center for Strategic and International Studies. Othman has also invested his wealth into philanthropic causes involving education and environmental conservation. Number 14, Youssef Mansur, Egypt. Net worth, $1.5 billion. Youssef Mansur is chairman of family-owned conglomerate Mansur Group, which was founded by his father Lautfi in 1952. Mansur Group is the exclusive distributor of GM vehicles and Caterpillar equipment in Egypt and several other countries. He oversees the consumer goods division, which includes supermarket chain Metro and sole distribution rights for L'Oreal in Egypt. Yassin, like his brothers Yusuf and Mohammed, is a shareholder in the Mansur Group, he also holds the position of Palm Hills Developments President, Egypt's largest real estate developer. Number 13, Mohamed Duji, Tanzania. Net worth, $1.6 billion. Mohamed Duji is the CEO of METL, a Tanzanian conglomerate founded by his father in the 1970s. METL is engaged in the manufacture of textiles, flour processing, beverages and edible oils in eastern, southern and central Africa. METL operates in six African countries and plans to expand to more countries. Duji, Tanzania's only billionaire, signed the Giving Pledge in 2016, promising to donate at least half his fortune to philanthropic causes. Number 12, Aziz Akanich, Morocco. Net worth, $2 billion. Morocco's Minister of Agriculture and Fisheries, Aziz Akanich, is the largest shareholder in the Aqua Group, a multi-billion dollar conglomerate founded by his father and partner in 1932. He invests in diversified petroleum products such as coal and chemicals through the publicly traded Afriquia Gaz and Maghreb Oxygen. Recently, Aziz also entered the media sector by acquiring the highly respected name Caractiers in the Moroccan media industry. Aziz is also the second richest man in Morocco. Number 11, Mohamed Mansur, Egypt. Net assets, $2.5 billion. Mohamed Mansur, like his brother Yousef, is the head of the family-owned Mansur Group. Mr. Lautfi Mansur, the company's founder, came from humble beginnings and now his three sons have indeed transformed his company into a $7.5 billion conglomerate, with interests in automobiles, capital goods, wealth management and real estate, education, healthcare and other nursing fields. 
In terms of transportation and logistics, the Mansur Group operates in over 100 countries with exclusive rights to manufacture and distribute products from international corporations such as General Motors across Africa. During the Hosni Mubarak regime, Mohammed Mansur also served as Egypt's Minister of Transport from 2006 to 2009. Number 10. Kuz Becker South Africa. Net worth, $2.8 billion. Kuz Becker is the president of the South African media group Naspers, which has the largest market capitalization outside of China, the United States, and India. It is listed on the Johannesburg and London stock exchanges. Naspers services include classified ads, online payments, fintech, and food delivery. From 1997 to 2014, Naspers' market value increased from $1.2 billion to $46 billion. His initial investment in Tencent, a Chinese technology and technology company, proved to be the most fruitful bet, and he rose to the position of CEO. He invested $32 million in Tencent shares in 2001. In addition, Becker also acquired many profitable companies during his tenure, such as OLX, DSTV and MTN, as well as majority stakes in Process, Media24 and Takealot. Number 9. Patrice Motsup South Africa. Net worth, $3 billion. Patrice Motsup made his fortune from the mining industry. Motsup started his professional career at Bowman Gilfillan Law Firm in Johannesburg. Later, in 1997, he founded Rainbow Minerals Africa, which is dedicated to the extraction and refining of gold, ferrous metals, base metals and platinum. He was recently appointed the president of the African Football Federation. He is also a board member of leading African companies, including Harmony Gold, BRICS Business Council, and Sanlam. Motsup was the first black African to be named to Forbes' list of billionaires in 2008. In 2013, Patrice Motsup signed a pledge to donate half of his fortune to charity. Number 8. Nagib Sawiris Egypt. Net assets, $3.2 billion. Nagib Sawiris belongs to one of the wealthiest families in Egypt. He is the current president of Oriscom Telecom Holdings. Under Najib's supervision, Oriscom Telecom Holdings has become one of the most successful telecommunications companies in Africa. He also founded the investment group Weather, which later acquired the Italian telecommunications company Wind Telecom. Wind Telecom and Global Telecom Holdings consolidated with Vimplecom's currently VIN in 2011, making it the world's sixth largest telecommunications provider, which serves over 181 million users in 20 countries. Through his shares in Media Globe, Nagib owns 88% of Euronews. Number 7. Isid Rebrab Algeria. Net assets, $4.8 billion. Isid Rebrab is the richest man in Algeria. He made a fortune mainly through his company Sevital's business in the food industry. Rebrab founded Sevital in 1998. The company operates in the fields of automobiles, household appliances, transportation, road and sea, float glass production and large-scale retail, making Sevital the largest conglomerate in Algeria. Rebrab founded several other companies in the accounting, steel, and metal industries before joining the Sevital Group. Rebrab has also expanded its portfolio by acquiring businesses in Europe, Africa, and South America. ICID was however sentenced to eight months in prison in April 2019 for corruption, tax evasion, banking and customs violations. Number 6. Abdul Samad Rabu Nigeria. Net worth, $5.5 billion. Abdul Samad Rabu is one of the well-known figures in the Nigerian business world because his conglomerate Bua Group holds shares in manufacturing, infrastructure and agriculture. Nigeria is one of the largest crude oil producers in the world. However, the shortage of oil refineries and dependence on oil imports have caused huge deficits and put pressure on the Nigerian economy. In September 2020, Rabu signed an agreement with Azen, the largest hydrocarbon company in France, to provide processing technology for the Rabu refinery in Aqua Ibum, Nigeria. This bold move has made Bua Group one of the most powerful forces in Nigeria and Africa as a whole. Rabu also owns 98.5% of Bua Cement plc, the second largest cement producer, and is listed on the Nigerian Stock Exchange.
Number 5, Mike Adenoga, Nigeria. Net assets, $6.3 billion. Mike Adenuga's primary source of wealth is his company, Globacom, which is Nigeria's second largest telecommunications service provider, with over 43 million subscribers. He is also a shareholder in Khan Oil and Equatorial Trust Bank. As a result of his exploits, he became Nigeria's second richest man. Adenuga supported herself by driving taxis while attending Pace University in the United States. Adenuga began his career by working in small businesses like selling shoelaces and distributing soft drinks. Number 4, Johan Rupert, South Africa. Net assets, $7.3 billion. Johan Rupert is chairman of Swiss luxury goods firm Compagnie Financière Richemont. The company is best known for the brands Cartier and Montblanc. It was formed in 1998 through a spin-off of assets owned by Rembrandt Group Limited, now Rembro Limited, which his father Anton formed in the 1940s. He owns a 7% stake in diversified investment firm Rembro, which he chairs, as well as 25% of Reinet, an investment holding co. based in Luxembourg. In recent years, Rupert has been a vocal opponent of plans to allow fracking in the Karoo, a region of South Africa where he owns land. Number 3, Nikki Oppenheimer, South Africa. Net assets, $8 billion. Oppenheimer, heir to his family's fortune, sold his 40% stake in diamond firm De Beers to mining group Anglo American for $5.1 billion in cash in 2012. He was the third generation of his family to run De Beers and took the company private in 2001. For 85 years until 2012, the Oppenheimer family occupied a controlling spot in the world's diamond trade. In 2014, Oppenheimer started Fireblade Aviation in Johannesburg, which operates chartered flights with its fleet of three planes and two helicopters. He owns at least 720 square miles of conservation land across South Africa, Botswana, and Zimbabwe. Number 2. Nassif Sairus Egypt, Net Assets, $8.5 billion. Nassif Sairus is a scion of Egypt's wealthiest family. His brother Nagib is also a billionaire. Sairus split Oriskam Construction Industries into two entities OC and Oriskam Construction in 2015. He runs OC, one of the world's largest nitrogen fertilizer producers, with plants in Texas and Iowa. It trades on the Euronext Amsterdam Exchange. Oriskam Construction, an engineering and building firm, trades on the Cairo Exchange in Nasdaq, Dubai. His holdings include stakes in cement giant Lafarge Wholesome and Adidas, where he also sits on the supervisory board of Adidas. In December 2020, he acquired a 5% stake in New York-listed firm Madison Square Garden Sports, owner of the NBA Knicks and the NHL Rangers teams. Number 1, Aliko Dangati, Nigeria. Net assets, $11.3 billion. Aliko Dangati, Africa's richest person, founded and chairs Dangati Cement, the continent's largest cement producer. He owns 85% of publicly traded Dangati Cement through a holding company. Dangati Cement produces 45.6 million metric tons annually and has operations in 10 countries across Africa. Dangati also owns stakes in publicly traded salt and sugar manufacturing companies. The Dangati refinery which has been under construction since 2016 is also one of his biggest investment. It is expected to be one of the world's largest oil refineries once complete, with a daily production of more than 650,000 barrels. In addition, the refinery include a urea manufacturing plant with an annual capacity of 3 million tons. Dangati also made a fortune by investing in shares of publicly traded salt and sugar manufacturing companies. Dangati's fortune is primarily built from his company, Dangati Cement, although he started his business empire by selling commodities such as sugar, salt, and flour. While he grew up upper class, Dangati was entrepreneurial from a young age and started his first business with a loan from his uncle. So there you have it. Those are the 10 richest people in Africa and how they created their wealth. If you enjoyed this video and want more definitive information about trends and mega projects in Africa, make sure to subscribe to the new Africa channel so you don't miss out on any of our exciting future videos.